And this is the way I like to cut the skimmer in. I don't know if this is the best way, but this is the way I do it. Um, petrified to cut that hole <laughs> before it's bolted into place. So I'll show you what I'm doing. So this is the second liner I put in this pool. So what I'll usually do is I'll put the um, skimmer on, the bracket on and everything, put the gasket in place, kind of go through and bolt everything together. And um, then take my utility knife and trim out the opening. I'm still filling the pool up right now and I don't want this liner to move. So utilizing this method will hold everything in place. I didn't want to not do this and then have the liner flex or anything. The pool's halfway full, so it shouldn't move, but I'd rather not take the chance. So usually I'll just go right through the faceplate like this. Cut my opening. And I'm gonna trim this up in a minute once I put the camera down. So then, like that, I'll trim this in a second. Um, got my opening, the liner is not going to move, it's all bolted into place. And that's just the way I like to do them. So I hope this helps some of you guys out putting a pool liner in uh, for the first time, or maybe even 11 years later like I am, and uh, you kind of forgot what you did in the first place, that so worked out well. So if you have any questions, leave a comment, I'll reply back to you. Thanks for watching, guys.